Well hi folks, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this short video is going to be a tripod review. KNF Concept very kindly reached out and sent me uh, one of their pro tripods. This one here to be exact and I've been testing and reviewing it over the last six months. They sent me the tripod before lockdown and unfortunately during lockdown I wasn't out much, especially not out hill climbing <laughs> which I normally do. So. I've managed to get out on quite a few good trips now and take the tripod with me um, so I feel the time's now right to give my thoughts on it. The video is obviously sponsored by KNF because they sent me the tripod to test and review but I'm going to give you my totally unbiased opinion on it. Although I'll say up front um, about 90% of what I've got to say on the tripod is all positive. There's only a few little glitches <laughs> I'm being quite pernickety about things that would possibly change but overall very very happy with the way the tripod performs. Now I'm basing this review on the type of photography that I normally do which as you probably know is out and about on the hills. One main thing I need to take into consideration when buying any a bit of equipment is the weight. Now, the tripod weighs 2.3 kilograms and that's including the centre column. You can have it on or off. I've currently got it off because just to shave a little bit of weight, it's not that heavy but every bit of weight counts when you're carrying a 30-40 kilogram rucksack up a hill. It's a carbon fibre tripod um, and it's very very well made. Now you could go out and spend three, four hundred pounds on a more robust and stable tripod but for me personally that is just not practical to carry up a hill. Um, it's going to be a lot heavier. I need something, I need a good balance of something that's going to be sturdy in pretty breezy conditions um, and also lightweight. For the past two years I've been using this Benro tripod, again a carbon fibre tripod, um, slightly smaller than this, although there's not much weight difference between the two, this is slightly heavier but more robust and stable than this. Um, this has done me well and I will probably continue to use this um, on various trips. But it has its pros and its cons, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, it states that the load capacity on this is 10 kilograms, which is pretty heavy, um, and I'm pretty sure in non-windy conditions it would easily be able to hold that amount of weight. If you were indoors or a studio environment, I'm sure it would be absolutely fine. Um, but for the type of photography that I do, which is mainly mountain tops, um, it is always windy. Very rarely do you get no wind at all in the mountain tops in Scotland. Um, but this has performed very, very well. It's very, very well made. The legs feel absolutely solid. Another feature that I like is you can get the tripod down extremely low because the centre column comes out, get right down very, very low to the ground. So you can get flat to the ground, which is great for wide angle perspectives. Um, or if you're out and about doing possibly some wildlife I need to get right down very low, lying down. This small bit also comes out here, you can unscrew the clip at the bottom um, for your bag. You can unscrew that, turn it upside down. Um, if you wanted to get even more, right on the ground the camera can hang upside down which is great. Another nice feature it has is you can convert it into a monopod which again would be handy if you're doing possibly wedding photography or even hyperlapse photography. The ball head itself is very very solid, um, I've not had any issues with the ball head at all. It's also got a panorama lock as well here, uh, once you've got your tripod set level you can use this, which again is a great feature, it's very very handy. Um, when using the Benro tripod, I need to add on my panel head, which actually weighs a ton, <laughs> it's not ideal. So again, it's just a great feature to have on the ball head. The maximum height the tripod goes to with the centre column at its maximum height and the legs fully extended is five and a half feet which is perfect for someone around my height, I'm 5'11". With the centre column out and the legs fully extended it comes up to just below my chin, perfect eye line. It's very comfortable to use if you're shooting for hours and hours on end. If you've got a bad back like me, it's very comfortable to use. One thing that I really liked um, with the tripod is when you open the legs up fully that's that's not going anywhere, it's solid. There's hardly any bend in that at all. Compared to the Benro that I was using for the last few years. Now using this in snow 
freshly laid snow, so to speak. There's quite a lot of bend in this year, so with the three legs out, I found that when I was digging into the snow, it seemed to <laughs> pop back up again. And a lot of photography that I do involves the camera um, sitting in the one spot for a while, trying to capture different moments in time. I was really frustrated at times with this tripod because I was having to line things in Photoshop and post and it was just hassle. This I've not had any bother with at all. I've not had a chance to test it in snow yet, but in marsh and long grass, um, it has been absolutely solid. Now as I said, there's only a couple of little niggles that I found with it, one of them being the plate. It's an Arca Swiss quick plate release system which is great. This fits on here and it's solid, but the only thing that I found um, was this plate is not ideal. Underneath trying to connect this to the camera, it just wouldn't tighten that well. Um, and after using the camera two or three times, moving it about on the ball head and trying to get things level, this would just loosen off. Even after tightening this, as tight as I could possibly get it on the camera. It felt solid at the time, but after a minute or two of using it, the camera became a bit loose, um, and it actually became a bit dangerous at times. I moved my camera from landscape mode, up like that, into portrait mode, and I'm standing looking over a cliff, a thousand foot drop, looking over a beautiful cloud inversion, and all of a sudden the camera swooped down like that. <laughs> it just became loose, and I'd only just tightened it two minutes ago. Um, my heart skipped a beat, I thought it was a goner. That's the only thing, I had to keep taking it off the tripod, tightening it up, tightening it up. Being at that altitude, my fingers are getting cold, they're getting more numb, it was just a bit footery. Um, compared to the Ben Raw, I don't get any issues with this at all, once it's on, that's it on for the full photo shoot. And I know you could upgrade the ball head, a lot of people do, put on their favourite ball head, it's a bit more stable, but Every other part of the ball head is great, it's absolutely solid and it's very usable, it's just this clip is not the best. Now overall, very very pleased with the tripod. So yeah, just to summarise, this is a superb tripod, value for money won't be beaten, um, build quality is superb, it's lightweight, it's very practical for anyone that does summer photography to myself, up and about in the mountains, um, it is very usable and also very usable in a pseudo environment. So yeah, you will be seeing this tripod in my future videos. Speaking of which, I've got a few superb videos coming up, which I can't wait to share. Believe it or not, I got another fantastic clown version a few weeks back from the top of Ben Nernane in the Arica Alps, and I'm just not long back from the Isle of Skye, where I climbed a couple of Monroes. Cannot wait to share the footage from those two trips. I'll leave a link below if anybody wants to check out this tripod. I'll leave a discount code below. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on my next trip. Cheers.